Welcome to the system of Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. We are in the process of making some tutorials about Arch, Arch Linux. And Arch Linux can be installed in VirtualBox as well as, of course, on hard disk and SSD. So if you're up to it, you can follow the tutorials on Eric Dubois. There are two phases. Phase one in my eyes is just this one. Install an uh, Arch Linux in virtual box but then stop the process there just before you install the xorg graphical drivers the desktop management and so on and what can i do now i can make copy pastes i can clone this and i can put a desktop on arch i can clone this and I put i3 on arch i can clone it and well i don't have to repeat it i think you guessed it arch can have a different kind of uh, desktop environments Night 3 is a special one it's a tiling manager and we're gonna use the github scripts to get a more or less functional system the way you might want it so Arch i3 has been cloned and as I said we see just a dark prompt and a black screen with a prompt and then it's up to us to install everything there we go this is my system before getting the, all the scripts I should do an installation package manager it's easier to remember then pacman hmm? package manager minus s and then you get git it is already installed but I'm showing you anyway so then we can clone something from the net we can clone your own scripts that you make from the net and then you write your name and arch and then something arch gnome arch xfc arch plasma we're gonna install arch i3 the scripts are here I'm gonna so go inside and even further in the installation folder and in this installation folder I find a lot of scripts but it's better for me to show you that with this kind of option and what we do need to run are all the things with a number in front of it from small number to a big number that's what we're gonna do we're not gonna run the 20 because 20 is just checking out which are the fastest servers around and they go pretty fast so I'm gonna save my time in that respect again I was tend to do this 03 so xorg we are working on a virtual machine which is not straight on an Intel or an Nvidia or an Etty so I have to choose the virtual box option so it's going to install the normal xorg which is what we see and later on he will have to install specific graphical drivers for the virtual box and will be presented with an option and we'll have to choose an option I've tested it for you the virtual box guest modules arch is the one that works and you install that completely We're done so this is 30 40 is installing packer it's going to help me install everything 50 50 it's going to be i3 wm we are going to use i3 gaps as a, a small difference so we're kind of it's kind of a fork it is i3 but it has also the ability to have gaps between um, windows so we can look through to our desktop or our wallpaper and I kind of like that better uh, particularly when I take a GNOME terminal that's transparent and we're often working in a terminal so we when we press the terminal we see our, uh, our conky maybe that's behind it or our wallpaper so it's a specific kind of i3 but if you want to have no gaps you just put zero zero in the config file and then you'll see what i3 looks like a 
I'm saving some time. I'm gonna pause the tutorial. Okay, the script is finished. We're at 50. The next one is 100. But there are a lot of hundreds. So I've uh, divided them into little parts. This will be the longest, so I'll waste no time and pause it. Then it's up to the next one. This was 100. The printers, we do need them from time to time. Get ready to type your password. Voila. So 110, it's gonna be 120. It's gonna be sound, we do want our music. And our videos. And 130 is a network communication. It's hanging. There we go. And 140. There is no 140. So we move up to 200. Some of the package will be installed. What will be installed? You can uh, uncomment the file. You should check the file. And you'll see that a lot can be installed. You see a lot of more more programs than, than just these. So new fetch, Spotify, and Sublime Text. I think only three out of this uh, mass of, of I don't know I'm gonna select it how many files do I have a total of 25 nine others uh, 91 91 files are on the github but I don't I'm not selling telling you that there are 91 programs but if I select from here Till here, we're talking about 52 programs, applications. So we can install more software than is what is installed here. I'm gonna pause the movie. There we are, we at the end of number 200. If you don't recall the numbering, just press LS min aux again. And there you go. We're at 300 now. This is going to install the fun stuff, the eye candy stuff, the Conky, Ariola Conky has, I don't know, I think 16, 16 or 17, I don't, don't recall really. A lot of Conkeys are going to be installed, sadly extra. Oh. GitHub is slow again, what can you do? Control C and run it again. There you go, that's the normal speed. And then Nasardi coming from SourceForge, nice speed, thank you guys. And again GitHub and nice speed. So all icons have been installed, Arc Team is going to be installed, and last but not least, the snow cursor theme. That's number 300. Then we go up to 4. We really need these things, these are the distro specific stuff. i3 is not well, a complete desktop, so we have to think about how can we change our theme, like Alex appearance, how can we uh, change the sound for the Bluetooth headphone, for instance, stuff like that, that make it uh, easy to work with it, with the, the, the system, with i3. So this is the rest, to make it uh, agreeable to work on i3. Let's save again some time. A word about Passistray, it's now being installed. You might run into problems. I solved it via a uh, workaround, but you might, uh, uh, yeah, you might have a problem with that, an issue with that. So you'll find it on the, the hour explain, explained why it's, it's not, it cannot be installed. And um, well, normally, like you see, Passes tray is installed in this case, so this problem is solved at the moment. But I just warn you already for future installations. Then Samba, only install it when you want to share with somebody else at the network at home. 
I'm gonna skip it. And then 600. 600 has been divided in little parts in order to, to maintain it and to, to see what I do and to skip things, if you want to. This is going to install folders like uh, music, videos, but also inside things, inside like uh, in GIMP, make GIMP. At this point in time, GIMP has not booted, not started, so there are no GIMP folders. So I'm going to make the GIMP folders in order to write the scripts and the themes to it. So basically, my advice, please run it. There will be no 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 surprises there. And then we're gonna check on the six one. So the the scripts and the themes are going to be copied now. Since there is a directory, I can copy to it. That's the six hundred. Huh? The Arcalora is going to be copied as well. There is now a special folder dot themes, and I can now copy paste it to these special themes to it so that's 620 630 variety does not work out of the box on i3 but with some scripts changes it does work so now variety will work and then 640 the root files necessary to install those it has the ability to of it will uh, uh, start i3 quite important and then 650 the gnome screenshot that's really optional I don't want gnome to make a screenshot in PNG but rather in GPG PNG is 2 megabytes with two screens and GPG is, is 200 kilobytes so a big difference for my website to uh, that's quite important so 6 650 is the last one with it and then we're going to discuss about the 680. What do you want to do? Do you want to power up your computer and then see the black screen, log in please, give a password and then boot in i3? Great. If you say no, I want to power up and go away and come back and my desktop is fully loaded. Then you should have 680. The auto login. This is the fourth way I found. So there are three more ways to auto login into Arch. And this is now being installed. Xlogin git. I found that on the AUR. And what I asking you, I'm asking you now is to give me your login name. So and write it correctly. It's gonna copy paste that behind a, a little script here. And is going to create a sim link to graphical target once x login at eric.service. So if you give me another name than login, it will never work. So auto login is enabled. And the last thing, the very the very last thing, the most important thing, if you skip this one, you will be having nothing at all. So you need to run the 690 as the last thing to do. And then we have to reboot and do the 700 as. Uh, afterwards, af, af, uh, after we have rebooted. So what does 690 do? Why is it so important? It actually gets the GitHub again and it's going to put it somewhere special in a special place and the, the special place you need to remind is your home directory dot config so hidden folder config slash i3 and there this information is available. Let's navigate quickly to it. It's that important that I show it to you. Config and then we see a lot of possibilities in the config and there is an i3 folder now and you go inside it and what you see exactly the same thing we started off in the beginning. But it should be there because i3 blocks conf, the conf file, the Compton file, everything will be looked, will be searched for in the hidden folder dot config slash i3. So let's reboot there's still some things to do but we are almost there i think 95 percent we're there and you'll see what i mean so auto login is effective you see we're doing fine remember that i made a scale scale factor here 
So we're looking at the scale factor of 200%. Let's make it a bit smaller. But then again, it's too small, but that's normal. And the virtual box can't do anything with it. So we can't say, do this or do that. So it doesn't understand. Full screen mode doesn't work and all that. So it's um, a pity. It's a pity that they don't, uh, they're not able to fix that, but we can fix that. Let's do continue, continue, and blah, blah. And here we can't get at the, the text because it's too big, as you can see. And we are going to fix first and press Windows or Super Key Windows 3. We are now at Workspace 3. One, two, three. Now I'm going to press Windows Enter and we are in our terminal. I'm going to analyze things. I'm going to do it step by step. We installed a specific program, XRender. And XRender is telling us that we're working on VGA-1. That's important. And that we are currently working on an, an yeah, and dimension that's not suitable. Eh? Current 800 by 600. So we're going to choose and I've um, I've looked already into it. The best thing for me to give a nice tutorial is this resolution 1280 by 960. So I know two things now. I know how my screen is called. I need that and what size I'm going to take. Now it was the other size I'm going to take this one that I'm going to take. Okay, fine. So I'm going to tell XRender that when he has an output which is called VGA1, if he has that, then he should change the mode to 1280 by 960. No typos, enter. And that is better for me to beam to be you know, to to make the tutorial all right so let's take a look we have copy pasted a config file and the config file says make a workspace put firefox on there make a workspace put sublime text on there take a workspace that we've made ourselves so that has been done with windows 3 and then Windows Enter, Super Enter. 8 is being created with the config file as well. We're in uh, Nemo, and Nemo is very interesting and powerful. And we can make some more icons. I particularly like this one, which makes a terminal here. With Windows Shift Q, you can delete the, uh, the new terminal that we've created. And this is a tiling manager. So let's first change the wallpaper and see that that works, as you can see. And let's change to window, the workspace 4, Windows 4. So everything is working just fine. Sound is working. And our internet is working. Let's try something. Google, what's that? Something else. Let's try something. And we have internet, check, and Spotify is installed of, and is waiting for my login on Workspace 10. So all these programs have been given a specific place and you can check. And this, this is why you should download, you should put these bookmarks inside it. Then you see the most important things is uh, for i3 is this here. So the .config i3 and the config file if you double click it, nothing happens. It's quite normal. You go to Workspace 2 and in Workspace 2, I have told Sublime Text to always show and to appear on Workspace 2. So we can change stuff around in the config file and you have lots of lines to read and analyze and make the system your own. Uh, for the rest, I really think I'm covering everything. That's one big advice I should give you, and that's this. i3 is not distro dependent. Every 
movie every tutorial about i3 can be interesting for you because i3 is will work anywhere yeah the only thing that differs is that you have a depth file on debian based and you have an, another file on the, the arch based but that's it the config file will work i3 blocks will be more or less the same there are small differences but more or less the same and um well have fun using i3 listen to a lot of tutorials and uh, i think it deserves to be no more i really like it and that's why i'm sharing enjoy